Hiya, your girl Queen Rebellion. Walks back with another straight to the point, like a joint. Because this topic right here, this session is going to be called Never Gonna Get It. I know there's a song name from that, but I forgot who sing it, to be honest. But, so this situation, for the people that actually know me personally, y'all know I be going through some crazy behind stuff. And I'm just like, bruh, there's no way I'm the only person going through this. Well, I'm the only person in my circle going through it for sure because they're just like, ew, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm outside and oh my goodness, ew. Let me turn off the light because this palmetto bug just kissed my lips and that is disgusting. All right, anywho. So, ew, that thing is on the door. That is so disgusting. I'm sorry. I, I got, you know what? Let me move my chair. Anywho, I feel like it's looking at me. But back to the topic. This session, never going to get it. The person that I'm going to be talking about, we're not going to go ahead and exploit the person by their physical name. So we're going to set up a nickname. Anything short that you can think of, call that person. So, I like the terminology Smurf. Smurf know who Smurf is. So, if Smurf is listening to this, I just want to let you know, never going to get it. All right. So, that being said, here's what happened now. I just don't understand people. Like, when you have the opportunity to be with somebody that you actually want to be with, why do you guys go ahead and fuck that up I don't understand like you waited x amount of years to finally have the opportunity when that person is available to speak to you and they're trying to give you like you know devote their time to you and just happen to um want to hang out with you and be around your energy you decide y'all want to mess it up like Bro, you almost had me, but you ain't had me. You almost got to me, but you're you're not even, like, reaching to me, like, halfway there. I don't know what you're doing, to be honest. And I just don't understand. So I'm going to just tell you the BS that I go through, that I went through. Because I cut that person off. I don't play. When it comes to energy... And you want to be negative, and first you was positive, and all of a sudden you was negative for no apparent reason, because there's reason behind everything. I cut you off. I'm over it. So pretty much, Smurf, I knew Smurf for about four years personally. And although I haven't met his children, and he hasn't met mine, because I'm very iffy with people meeting my children... Like, I don't want that whole in and out of um, experience that they have to go through. I just find that highly unfair. So, when I happen to talk to, you know, just as a friend, because it's always best to be friends first. Talk to what you call it. Smurf. It was good. It was like on a positive note and everything. You know, he claims that I was his best friend and whatnot. And I was like, well, I guess we best friends because you always call me whenever you need assistance. I always call you for advice and this, this, and that. Like whenever I could not understand a guy, I would always call and ask him. Whenever he cannot understand a female, he always call and ask me. See, I set a goal up for myself. If I'm going to be talking to somebody at work, I need to know you for at least five years before you can ever, ever step off the property of work and come onto my property. Like, bro, that's just me personally. Unfortunately, I broke my little promise. It was four years. It was four years. February would have been five years. We're in um, 2021. So, anywho... I was like, 
okay, I'm gonna just, you know, give it a try and whatnot. I ain't gonna lie. The cocky did good. It good. But if your energy is just so negative and not negative. He he wasn't negative. Let me rephrase that. If your energy happens to give me a mirage, meaning I thought it was this, but when I finally got there, there was really nothing there to begin with. It's going to piss me off. Like, don't waste my time. I'm a single mother. You know, I do have to make certain accommodations for us to meet up and whatnot. So, you know, pretty much he would always set up a time for us to hang. Because I decided to, you know, give him a go before I'm just like, you know what, screw this. I don't want to be with anybody type of, type of vibe. So, I actually wanted to go ahead and give him a chance. When I tell you, say, this look a idiot, boy, I don't mess up enough time. Oh, I'm going to come. Never show up. Oh, because I fell asleep and this and that. Because we work overnight. So, we get off work either 3.30, no, 2 a.m., 2 a.m. through 4 a.m. And he lives about 30 through 40 minutes away. But I live, you know, closer to the job, 13 minutes. So he's actually still far away from the job, 30 minutes, 40 minutes away. So, you know, he'll set up a time. I'm like, okay, cool, you set up the time. So that must mean you want to hang out. Nope. He'll wait until he knows I'm sleeping. At 5 a.m., he'll try to contact me. Oh, I'm ready to give you some. First of all, I'm sleeping. Do not interrupt my sleep. I don't care who you are. Like, I got to get my children. No, I got to get my child, my empress, ready for school by... We wake up at 6.30. So you waking me up at 5 a.m. and I get off work at 4, you're, you're not... You're causing stress to my brain. Don't do them. Don't do them sitting, you know, because it make me turn blood clot reckless. Because if I don't get my sleep, trust me, not only does my pitney feel it, but whoever going to make me miss sleep, I'm going to feel it. I'm going to blood clot feel the pressure because I'm tired. I'm exhausted. So I tell him all the time, why you keep doing that, blah, 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 blah. He's like, I just can't believe you and I are actually talking. I said, do you want me to pinch you? I was like, you know what? You're short. You're probably not going to feel the effect that I want you to feel. Do you want me to just hop in your car and run you over? And he's like, oh, you're always making fun of me. And blah, blah, blah. I was like, it's just so funny that you're so old and short. So, I'm just like, I'm sorry. I had to make sure she's sleeping because this door be opening by itself, I guess. But, anywho. Had to hit this bone. Anywho, it's like, why do y'all men (coughs) or women, people in general, why only sit up a time? And don't follow through it. Don't have me wake up and stay up for your liquor rat itself and don't show up. That's a waste of time. That's a waste of energy. And that just pisses me off even more and more. So, (laughs) when he did that, I said, don't call me like that. And to be honest, we only do it like about two or three times. Actually, let me go check on my sitting right quick and let you guys know. I'm going to just look into my app because I have my receipts. I have all my receipts about this. Let's see. Huh. We only did it two times. Oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah, it was only two times. Hmm. This one was 
August 18th and August 24th. And what pisses me off is you're telling me you have a high sex energy like me. So if you have high sex energy, then oh yeah, I'm not getting no cocky. What a blow clot this. Mm -mm. Then he gonna tell me, oh, my fault, my fault. We'll set it up again. So we set it up again. And yes, it got stood up again. That's right, your girl, Queen Rebellocks, can't just read the damn in between the lines. So I'm just like, wow. I'm like, you know what? <coughs> Everybody go through something. I'm not going to be so harsh on him about it. I'm just not going to take him seriously the next time he do it. Hey, you want to hang out? Sure, let's hang out. And I just do something else, which I actually did. He said he wanted to hang out. I was like, yeah, cool. Miss him, I did all my errands. I went to BJ's. <coughs> Made to get some gas. <laughs> we went to Whole Foods. Oh, yeah. Look at you there, boy. Oh, sorry. Smurf never contact me back. And I'm like, oh, all right, cool. Your loss, not mine. But you think I'm going to sit here and fret over you? No, sir. I just bought myself a brand new TV. <coughs> I um got my fire stick. <coughs> oh, what do you call it? What's that word? Can't think right now. I don't cough so much. I'm, I'm already in deep meditation. Too quick. So, jail broke. That's what it is. Jail broke. So, if you think I'm going to fret over you when new movies come out, tuh, you're not that special. I was trying to see if you are, but <coughs> apparently you're not. So, anywho, let me tell you the BS. <coughs> To speed this up a bit. Smurf gonna tell me. Just recently actually. Oh. Um. When are you off? Why? Why you wanna know when I'm off? Because I wanna take you out. You're supposed to take me out today. For lunch. And it's 228 Oh, well, something came up. That's what I'm trying to see when when you off. I was like, I don't want to hang out anymore. It's too much because you tell me one thing, I clear off my schedule or, you know, I have my day off or whatever, and you, you just don't show up. You're not respecting me and my time, so I don't want to do this. I don't want to, like, try to be in a relationship with you anymore. <laughs> And he's like, oh, um, well, <clears throat> you're so crazy. And you're so impatient and this, this, and that. I was like, you're not making time for me. You made time for the other one. The other one was this one Jamaican gal he did with. And he used to complain every damn day. He's like, I'm only in it for the sex. I just over it. She's so annoying and this and that. But he made a way. And she lived an hour away from him. And she lived about 20 minutes from our job. <coughs> he visit her. <clears throat> Six days a week, okay? How I know? Because every time they get into a little argument, guess who call my phone? Smurf. All right, then. So I'm know. And I'm like, but you're able to see her. And she lived further away. And he's like, oh, you know, um, I'm not going to be leaving my children for you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, I'm a single dad. I was like, you co-parent. And he's like, no, I'm a single father. And I was like, how are you a single father when you and your ex-wife co-parent with the children? I was like, who watches the children? My mom, okay, so you're telling me that your ex-wife has, like, is not helping you with the children. She doesn't see them. She, and he's like, no, you don't know what you're fucking saying. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Um, 
you talk too damn much. You talk too goddamn much. And I'm like, why? I was like, first of all, don't talk to me like that. And I call him a bapan, bitch ass, pussy ass nigga. So I hang up the phone on him. And he's like, you just talk too damn much. You need to shut up and listen. And it just pissed me off so bad, y'all, because he knew how my husband and my entanglement happened to spoke to me. And for him to just pick up from where they left off, it really hurt. I did shed a tear about it because I got disrespected. It's not because we not talking. <clears throat> no, it's about the fact that, and I told him too numerous times, I'm scared to talk to you because you know me. You know what men did to hurt me. You know what breaks me. You know what's going to make me cry. And I'm scared you're going to use that against me. And he's like, he won't do that. And guess what he did? STFU. That right there was a trigger for me. And my trigger, I used to cry and get upset. But this time, to be honest, I just kept to myself. I don't let nobody know what I'm doing anymore. I just keep posting on my social media and everything because I refuse to get disrespected again. So I'd rather just stay in the shadows or stay underneath an orchard tree or something. I'm sorry, I always wanted to say that, the apple tree. But it's not worth it. Like, my energy needs to be protected at all times. And if I haven't learned from my husband that that was a toxic relationship to the situation with the entanglement, that was toxic as hell to this new one that I actually known for about four years, I'm good. I am so good. And it's like... <coughs> so, yeah, on that note, it's really not even worth it. I'm not even going to stress about this cocky because I can get cocky anytime I want to. It's just... I actually want to, you know, excuse me, feel connected with somebody. I always, you know, talk to my children them. It would just feel hella nice to, you know... Find somebody to just connect with, uh, with the opposite sex or the same sex, just on a whole new level, though, like a whole level of creating together memories and sharing things. And that's all I ever wanted. But Smurf, never going to get it. You don't fucked up. You ain't getting it again. Clearly, you can see that. Obviously, you feeling butt hurt because you had to tell one of my close co-workers, oh, I'm mad at you. Yes, I have every right to be mad at you. Because his excuse was, the reason why he stood me up all those times is because it was about his children. Okay, you got to deal with your children at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning, 2 a.m., 2 p.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and 8 p.m. at night. I totally understand not questioning your parenting at all whatsoever. I'm just saying, though. And his excuse was, uh, when I asked him, I, and I asked him, I was like, yeah, I asked him. I was like, don't you think it would have made sense if you would have just told me prior to us talking? Hey, you know what? I, um... I have full custody of all three children, and, you know, I just, there might be a lot of cancellations in the future, just to let you know. I do want to hang out with you. We're going to make it work, but me and you to hang out is going to be hard. He going to tell me, no, it's none of my business. How in the, bruh, that means you don't want to be with me, because how that doesn't make any sense to you. It makes perfect sense to me. I let people know, hey, you know, Empress arm is broken, is fractured at the moment. But if something do come up, I got to go. 
or no, I cannot do it because I need to keep watch, make sure she's okay. That's why I have not been going to any party events at all. So why wouldn't you inform somebody that you want to be with these important factors in your life? Because one of the incidents when he stood me up, he was like, oh, my daughter arm, you know, she's in a hospital. I mean, not daughter arm. My daughter's in the hospital. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. He's like, I know. That's why I can't get mad at you. But you're getting upset at me now. Because I never knew that every time you stood me up, it has to deal with your children. Whether it's the truth or not, I still like to be informed of these type of situations. Because these situations are not only sensitive, but it do take time. Because I only got two and he got three. We could always work something out. We could do something with the children. We don't even have to hang out right now until we know we in the clear. And, you know, we can, like, have quality time with each other. No. He called me the crazy one. And this is where it hits the most. I mean, hurts the most. That's why you can't find anybody. I was like, oh, really now? See, back then, that would have definitely hurt me. It hit me the most because that opened my third eye to realization. We're going to call them fun. Fuck you niggas out here. Fun. Because y'all is just too much. And I'm so happy. I'm actually stupid excited that me and him is not talking. And the reason being is... I just saved myself a whole lot of toxicity that I just got out of twice. I really don't want to go through it again. I don't. I'm not attracted to it. I don't think it's sexy. It's attracted to me, but I'm not attracted to it. So when we fell out, I was happy. But I did want to keep the friendship because our friendship was very genuine. It was very sincere. But... All he had to do was just accept the friendship. Then he going to tell me, oh, I don't want to be in a relationship with you anymore. Nigga, we ain't dating. You just said we was not official. You just said you don't want to rush. And I agreed. So why are we in a relationship now? Oh, because you don't like it when a woman tells you, hey, you know what? You and I, it ain't going to work. This is not going to work out between us. First of all, you're short, I'm tall. You're small, I'm long. So, no. No, but on the real, he is really mad short. It takes like about three of him to equal one of me. Or two, two and three quarters of him to equal one of me. So, yeah. It takes like a midget of four foot. Man. He's five foot. Screw it. He's five foot, okay? And I'm five nine, five ten. With my heels on, I be about six foot. So y'all do the math right there. But it is really mad crazy though because it just can't believe it. Like you waited all this time because he knew that he fucked up plenty of times before with the whole not showing up. Oh, he going to make it up. He going to make it up. He just really want to show me um, how a real man treat a woman and spoils her. If this is how y'all men treat women and spoil them, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want none of that at all whatsoever. I'll just stick to my bones. My bones be nine inches anyways. I don't be doing nothing freaky with it, but just put my mouth on it. And blow and choke on smoke. It's the same thing as me giving head to a nigga. Your pipe big, put my mouth on it, I choke on it, and that's it. Call it a day. The smoke is the sperm. Yeah, I said it. But anywho, like, on the real deal, I don't want it. Why? Why would I want to do that to myself? Maybe y'all females like that, or y'all dudes like that, but I don't like none of that. I just want a peace of mind. And it's just a positive vibration. That's it. Because life is really too short. 
once you think about it, look how fast it done took for me. Like, I graduated high school in 2007. Bruh, that was 14 years ago. Like, good grief. Come on now. So, all this pettiness that he doing, I mean, he's short. So, I guess pettiness fit him. Because most short people, they get so angry that they're not tall enough to reach certain things. Or, you know, he just probably upset because, I don't know, he don't like short girls. But the girl that he messed with that was important is short. But anywho, he loved them tall ones. And it's like, bro, we're way out of your league, homie. Like, I can step over you, my nigga. Like, <laughs> bro, you sitting next to me, you just look like a full-grown midget. Like, do I need to get you a high chair? Matter of fact, when we go in the car, I'm going to be driving because you got to be put in a booster seat because I ain't trying to get no ticket to mis- got you mistaken for a dang on eight-year-old. Ain't nobody got time for that. I be roasting him all the time. He He's already used to this. Ain't that right, Smurf? Because you already know how it is. But, yeah, like, you, like, he always, literally, he always be trying to talk to some tall female. Bro, why? You can't even handle us. Like, you can't handle no long conversation. He always complain. You're sending me too many text messages. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Send you a couple short text messages at the same, like, at different increments of the time? And actually, he likes that shit. I swear to God. He goes ahead and send me little, little bits and pieces of messages. And I'm like, bro, you could have just, like, combined that. It would only been, like, four lines. So you just made two separate lines for no reason. And two different messages. It doesn't make no sense to me. But, hey, to each to its own. He likes tall girls that he can't handle. He doesn't qualify for the ride. He goes on the ride. It breaks down. Simple as that. We're not broken. Obviously, he is. I don't know. He probably going to have to, like, eat some more spinach. Papa wasn't lying about that. Was it spinach? Spinach make you stronger. My bad. Milk. Well, who is that lady? You need some milk. That one. You need some vitamin D. So, obviously, he did not drink enough milk when he was little. That's why he short like that. But, yeah. I mean, he would have been a perfect pedestal, though. Or somebody to lean on. You know, like when it's really hot outside and you just want to lean on somebody, I mean, on something, and you have that short friend, and you're like, bruh, the angle that I want to bend out, bend at right now is actually your shoulder length. You're like perfect for this role model. You're just a perfect fit. And you're like, wow, thank you so much for relieving the pressure points on my back you are you are awesome just love it i just love your shortness whatever they say about you they're wrong and i love you for it so yeah it would have been nice because especially if i was if i was in my heels oh yeah i'd have been leaning on his ass but you know (sighs) he was short with good inches on him possibly 10 inch you you okay. You're cute in your own little outfits, but at work, you're not cute. I don't know. I just can't. And, yeah, um, you have money, which clearly always will be a factor for me because you need to have money after what I've been through with my husband. So, yes. I just want to let you know that he ain't never going to get it. I'm being real. Ain't nobody got time for that. Plus, you know, keep going ahead and, you know, let me stay on your mind. I mean, it's the only, it's the least that I can do because your attention span is only so short. So, what is that? 
Oh, that's a fly. Oh, my God. Yo, you know when you watch too many scary movies? I thought it was a moving eyeball. Oh, good grief, yo. All right, y'all. I'm going to definitely have to go because I don't freak myself out a bit. But, yeah. Believe me when I say this. I'm the type of female. You, I used to give out three chances. My husband don't blew that. The entanglement don't blew off the second chance. No, my husband blew off the three chances, so it's only two chances for the next one. My entanglement blew that off. So this one, even though I knew him for four years, know him for four years, one chance, that's it, done, done it. And then he got the nerve, yo. He got the nerve to tell me, don't you run back. Run back to who? Homie, if I run back to you, I probably might pass your short ass because my legs is hella long. Bruh, I'm like Popeye's melanin wifey's girlfriend, Maine. One, Olive, bruh. Like, come on. Me run back to you? I probably might stumble over you because you that short. Like, I don't be looking down when I'm walking. I look up, actually. That's why they always say, keep your head up. So, it's just so funny. Men or women in that state of mind will always try to say manipulative things like, oh, don't you come back. And you know it's not true. Like, you're the one blowing up my phone. You're the one that tells me you want me. Then you ask me if I want you. Yeah, I reply yes. But I'm not the one initiating it. Obviously, it's on your mind for a reason. You're welcome for allowing me to go ahead and imprint on your mind. And I told him he was going to regret it because you ain't never going to get inside this tight pum pum again. Plus, you don't mess up a very good friendship. And on second thought, you ain't never going to get it ever again. And I told him that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, make sure you don't talk to me at work either. He's like, yeah, that's what I was saying too. I bet you were. Just following right behind my comment. It's cool. You always want credit for something. Like, bro, it's not my fault. The credits that you want is actually longer than... (laughs) Let me stop. (laughs) Yo, when I start roasting, boy, I I start roasting. Like, it just come off. It just roll off the tongue, man. Like, I just be saying, it be some dumb stuff, but it be so funny because it be so true and it be making so much sense. I'm not trying to offend y'all shorties out there. I mean, you know what I mean. I'm not trying to offend y'all. This is more pertaining to him and whoever had to deal with a short person in their life and they be so upset at them. This is... Just direct your energy to him if y'all want. Not too much because, you know, like I'm telling you, he's short and he act like a baby. So, y'all got to take some time with him. Oh, and he old on top of that. I forgot to tell y'all. He is five foot and he's 35 years old. And I'm just like, dog, you is the oldest I talk to. And this is another reason why I don't talk to old men because y'all just full of excuses. Okay, the youngest I go is 25, but it's just, bro, it, like, no, I'm my like, old oh, man. And then he started complaining at one point saying, oh, yeah, you know, we got to take our time and do some activities. Oh, hell no. No, 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 you're short. You, bruh, you're not walking a lot of distances. Actually, you are because it do take you a while to get, like, from the car to your job. So I take that back. Um, yeah, that's cool. Just do what you got to do, Smurf. <laughs> Just know you ain't never going to get it from me. So go to... I And I told him that he got the nerve to cuss me out and I'm not even eye level. How you going to cuss me out and I'm not even eye level to you? Who does that? People don't want to feel tall. Him, short. Just want to feel tall. I was like, next time you want to argue with me, go ahead and get a stepping stool and go to the tallest one and see if you could try to argue with me then. 
If not, he you don't have to stack some books up to argue with me. Cause I'm not I'm not looking down to argue with you. For what? You want me to look down on you? You know that's a very bad perception for somebody to think of you. Oh man, that's like a whole shame to the family. You don't want me to do that to you. So yeah. And definitely when I saw him at work, I walked past a little short ass. It's not, it's not like I'm going to see you anyways, so I might as well act like I don't see you. And it worked out because he and his feelings, good. And I just love being by myself and just saving my energy for myself and my children on a positive vibration because toxic situations is not good. I don't care if he tells me, oh, I'm going to cash app you $500. Okay, send the $500 because you already own me from all the 10. Supposedly, I'm supposed to be here. It's cool. Oh, my God. It's like I don't know how to light a bomb. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. So yeah. Oh yeah. Forgot to tell you guys. Did you know that I had invited him to Vegas? He was gonna go on his birthday. We was gonna celebrate. Yeah. You really messed that one up, didn't you? Fun. So yeah. I'm just so. Woo. I'm so over it. I'm not even going to allow any type of negative energy trying to follow me on this one because, hey, there is other dudes out there, bro. There's other females out there. I go both ways. So, you know, I like to have fun. But, yeah, to settle down with, I do rather a guy just because of... That'll be another topic. That'll be another topic. But, yeah. um, I'm just... I'm in awe. I'm more so disappointed in him because I never thought that he would pick up from where my husband and the entanglement left off. That's actually on my YouTube. Y'all can check that out. But <clears throat> check it out on Rotten Bandus LLC. Same as the podcast. But, yeah. I just couldn't believe it because I probably kind of manifest that because I should have never said it out loud I'm one of those type of people because I told him that you know by me knowing you you're gonna hurt me more it always happens like that and guess what he hurt me you hurt me done it done done madon there's no coming back from this and I told my um co-worker that he told Saying, oh, your friend is mad at me. Blah, blah, blah. Like, just tell her the truth, bro. Because you didn't tell her. But, yeah. I'm just not going to focus my energy on that. And I was like, this is what you wanted. I always tell him that. This is what you want. You want a toxic relationship. I don't want that. And he is like... I kind of like it because it's fun. It keeps the relationship interesting. And I'm like, no, you don't really need that. What if I can change your mind on that? I need to stop changing people's minds and just change my mind of that person. Yeah, nope, you're not the one. <laughs> no, thank you. Yes, I know you are the biggest that I happen to deal with. Thank you so much for that. But it is not worth my energy. So, no, I shall pass. So, yes, I'm hoping to catch me another anaconda out there. Just saying, please have some height to you. If you have height, pun your cocky, you must have height, pun your legs, them because me can't deal with it no more, you know? Me can't deal with it. Because one time he did walk in front of me and I trip over his short ass and I was so pissed because the fact that he was short and I knew that he was short and he still cut in front of me and I didn't like get out the way in time. If it was a tall person, that would be different. It's like, bruh. <laughs> but this one, like, I legit did not see him when I tripped. So, no. But yes. 
that will be all for the session y'all because i'm getting super hungry again and <laughs> i'm on because the first session that i was talking to you guys i accidentally exhale and talk at the same time which made me cough for like 10 minutes straight and now i'm just like super stoked so yeah i'm gonna just oh my god it is 5 42 a.m mm -mm. tell you i only do this after um after work i have insomnia and i thank you guys for listening to a session just having a whole vibration Yes, I do be roasting people out here. It be funny as hell. You know, don't get offended by it. It's all about pure laughter at this point. You see, I'm I'm smiling. I know y'all can hear me smiling because I'm just so excited of what's going to be brought for me and my children in the future. And, you know, it's just, I don't know. I feel it. I feel definitely good vibrations is coming, definitely real soon so <clears throat> definitely um i'm saying definitely way too much and it's actually annoying me now so i need to stop so yes i want you guys to always understand that when i'm on my podcast and i'm in my sessions we ain't gonna be doing no controversial topics i don't have time for that and we also just gonna have really some fun times you won't be like did she really say that yes girl yes boy i did say it what's up and other times you're gonna be like wow you're just laughing so hard and you can't stop because it's so funny because you just can't believe i said that in that type of context or form so yeah expect a lot of those because i love to roast that that's my thing I do a little freestyle too, but I ain't going to do it right now. I don't even know why I said that. Anyways, but um, that would be like a whole different topic as well. I hope you guys really do enjoy this session. I feel a cough coming. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ooh, that thing hit me so hard on the back of my throat. Whew. Anywho, um... <laughs> So that would definitely, I forgot what I was saying, but any, I said any who already. All right, you guys, you know what? We're just going to end it right there because I literally lost train of thought. Um, yeah, I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this session. I enjoyed y'all for listening and stay tuned because there is a lot and y'all going to be hearing it from me a lot. If you want to, like, check me out live, live, my Snapchat is R is in rabbit, E is in elephant, B is in boy, E is in elephant, L is in line, L is in line, O is in octopus, C is in Charlie, S is in Sam, Rebellox. So, yeah, check me out. And I do follow back. Just let me know where you found me because... I be getting paranoid sometimes. But anywho, um, I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side. I definitely getting hungry and sleepy at the same time. So I'm just going to finish this last session. And I'll be talking to you guys again at 420. Check me out. It's either going to be 420 a.m. or p.m. It doesn't matter at this point. It's just going to be 420. Keeping it simple. And it will be every single day. All right, y'all. So, y'all stay blessed and respect. I'm going to go ahead and log off. Yeah, I'm hungry. I got to go, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all in a minute. Bye.